right, so the first thing to do is get out a piece of work um, square on the table. Um, so what I'm going to do is line this edge up here with this edge here. We do that simply with a with a square, and you can get it within half a millimetre or so by eye. That's pretty damn good there, actually. And then clamp it down firmly to the bed. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load the first uh, cutting strategy, which is a tool path, which is the 6mm ball mill roughing cut. So just drop that down a second. That's just uh, bringing up what's on my uh, flash drive. Uh, this is NC Studio. This is really a good program, and I personally like it. So what we do, we come up here to this top corner where it says File, uh, Open and Load. Here we go. Um, so here we are now. Here's the file. Here, the six millimeter rough in. Double click, and it's into NC Studio. Um, so now we can set up the zero position um, on our machine with NC Studio and I'll show you how to do that. So we'll take the Z down. So it'll go precisely um, half a millimetre and we can just jog it into position like And that's fine. Now some of you would have seen me do this trick before. You just get a piece of ordinary A4 paper, there's a piece of it, put underneath the tool, and bring the tool down to it. This is about at one thousandth of an inch so we're just going to bring the tool down so it just touches the paper so then we know we're a thousandth of an inch off the material. Onto the jog. And be very precise with this. So that's within two thou, so we'll take it within one thousandth of an inch now. That's it. Just touching it. One more, and that's just grabbed it. So that is absolutely perfect on the material there. So then what we do is zero the Z. Okay, I've got the spindle started up now. Uh, because my spindle on this machine is not controlled by NC Studio and I've got it running at the appropriate speed but what I'm going to do, as I always do when I'm starting a cut is I bring the feed rate all the way down to a much much slower rate 20% in this case uh, which gives me plenty of time to, to, to see what the tool is doing and um, I can stop the program if something bad is happening.
Okay, answer to question number two most asked. Um, now, I completed the roughing uh, with the 6mm two flute ball mill. And uh, the machine has come to the zero zero position, which is in the center of our piece of work. And last night I switched the computer off and the machine off in that position. And the question is, or the question I'm going to answer, because now I've machined this away, this material away, um, how do I change the tool and find the zero point of the material again? Uh, because it's, it's 19 mil above this. Well, it's very easily done, actually. And I will take you through the procedure. And uh, I just get a little bit of waste material of the same material and put on there. Um, bring the uh, change the tool, bring the head over here, and just zero off this material block. It's as easy as that, and we'll do that right now. So you can see here that the x zero y zero we're at the zero position which we set before we started the uh, work. They haven't changed. Uh, the tool has come to rest 16, 16 and a half millimeters above the zero pos position of the, the original piece of work that's now machined away. Uh, so you can see now in relation to my table, the zero, zero position uh, of the work. So now we're going to change a tool and reset the Z position. So now we're going to bring the tool forward. That'll do. Uh, okay. Alter the jog now to half millimeter. Take it down a bit closer. Oh, actually, we can go to point one of a millimeter. Just put that there. So all you're doing is just moving the paper and bring the tool down quietly, very quietly. Just grabbing it there, just see. And then you set the zero in NC Studio, like this. So you can see it's a very simple operation to change a tool because you're not altering the X and Y at all. You don't touch it. Um, so all you're doing is altering the, the, the Z height or finding the new Z height for the tool that you're putting in. And all you need is a, a small piece of the waste material that uh, you've been using as your material that you've been cutting and put on the same plane as that piece of material as indeed I have just done. So, so now we can, I think, if I alter the jog setting, the full time jog, lift the tool up to a safe distance, remove that, we can now, I'll, I'll just take it back to a roughly the... Uh, actually, I don't have to. I'll show you because uh, the, the computer knows exactly where this head is now. So I could actually start the program up right here. Uh, and it will travel back to the zero position, register that zero position, then come to the front here, come down quietly and come back and forth and start to machine the finishing um, tool pad. So we'll do that right now.
you liked the making of this knight's shield on a CNC router and uh, please if you did subscribe to my channel press like until next time thank you for watching and bye for now